Welcome to Storm Bowling Products in Brigham City, Utah. I'm Steve Klemkin, Storm's Technical Director, and we're here today to show you how to locate the center of gravity of a bowling ball. One of the things you'll need to know is that every object has a center of gravity. Now when you see the eye of the storm on the surface of the bowling ball, know that that doesn't represent the true CG. The actual center of gravity is actually located well below the surface of the ball. And if you drew a line from the geometric center of the ball through the actual CG and extended it up to the surface, that's where you get the eye of the storm. That's where the center of gravity is on the surface of the ball, the marking, while the true CG actually lies below the surface. Now you can locate the center of gravity of any bowling ball. We're going to demonstrate it today on a drilled bowling ball, but realize that you can also use the same method to locate the center of gravity of an undrilled bowling ball or a plugged bowling ball. Now this is important because when you remove the weight with the drilling holes, you're actually removing mass at an unequal level. So when you replace that with ball plug, you're going to move where the true center of gravity is actually located. It's no longer going to be where it was when it was undrilled. So that's important to remember. Second thing that's important to remember is that we still have regulations from the USB-C on the static weight of our ball. So you can't have more than an ounce of positive weight or more than an ounce of thumb, for example. So you still have to know where that's located and make sure that the ball still weighs up and meets those specifications. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to place that bowling ball in the cradle here and we're going to try and line up the marked center of gravity right at zero on our ProSect. So we'll take that off, we'll adjust the back beam, try and get it so it levels out, making sure that our front beam is already set at zero, which it is. Okay, so we're looking pretty good. Now we're going to rotate it 180 degrees. Again, put your ProSect back on, we're going to rotate 180 degrees and we're going to try and line that up. Now we're going to see how much positive or negative side weight we have from that point. Okay, and we've got a little bit of positive weight there. So we're going to see exactly what it is. Weighs out about a quarter. So what we do is we take half the difference, we move that balance back to an eighth, and now we're going to adjust the ball and try and get this to balance and be back at zero again. Looks like a pretty good shot right there, so we'll put our ProSec back on, we'll mark the zero point, and then we'll go ahead and mark our line. This is our, what I would call a, a vertical line here, where the center of gravity is going to be somewhere along this line. Now we've got to figure out exactly where along that line the center of gravity is. So we're going to do the same method. We're going to rotate that ball 90 degrees. Center our front beam at zero. Now try and adjust this back beam as well. See if we can get that to balance out here. Looking pretty good, okay. Rotate another 180 degrees. Again, we're trying to find the where along this line the center of gravity is located. All right, looks like it's gonna be moving up quite a bit. So when I measured out that line, looks like we've got three quarters. Okay, so we'll take half of that, we go back to three eighths, and then now we need to move the ball to try and get it to again balance out to the point to where it equals zero. Looks pretty close there, maybe just a touch more. And we mark along this line right here. Find our zero point there, so there you have it folks, that's exactly where the center of gravity is after drilling. So there you have it folks, we showed you how to locate the center of gravity of a bowling ball. Now we showed you how to locate the center of gravity on this drilled bowling ball, but you can use the same method for both an undrilled bowling ball, either a brand new one, or one that's been drilled and plugged, to actually locate that CG. Now remember too, it's important that the information you get back in the feedback is only as good as the quality of your measurement device. So make sure that you get your scale calibrated so you're getting accurate readings. Thanks, and bowl up a storm.